We do love some drama. Welcome to this week's sneaker news, where we talk about the good, bad, and ugly of everything that's happening sneakers. Let's just say sneakers has not failed to disappoint this week. Starting off with a bang, we have seen photos of the new Jordan 1 Chicago Lost and Found. We now have a release date of November the 19th. This sneaker is fire. Chicago colorway, bringing it back. Jordan 1, you cannot go wrong. And we finally might see a Jordan 1 that actually resells. And I can definitely expect very high resale prices. Looks like the materials used are a little bit different but of course it will be it will not be the exact same as the original chicago it's really good to see the sneaker coming back next up we have seen some rumors between Yu-Gi-Oh and adidas i mean who would have thought this would be a collaboration it's been released that adidas are going to have a partnership with Yu-Gi-Oh, and they're going to be releasing their own shoes now they've got one pair of kind of normal shoes and also one pair of slides which i don't even want to mention will there be resale unfortunately i do not know this until i find out a bit more information we don't have a set release date we don't even know what the shoes are going to be called it's going to be similar to the back Bad bunnies that released when you get like a cool fancy box you get some special laces and all that kind of stuff i'm not going to cover too much on this because it's Yu-Gi-Oh mixed <laughs> with adidas we've got a new first look of the new nike lebrons that will be releasing the lebron 20 debut now this is an okay looking shoe i'm never a fan of lebron i assume it's a bigger thing up in the us so if you're from the us you like the sneaker go for it can't see any resale prices being in the uk however if you are in the us and maybe you flipped it before go for it we saw supreme up the retails of their air forces we've seen a 15 pound increase of the air forces and did they need to do this no have they seen that supreme air forces resale so they bumped the retail up yes what do you guys think of this in my opinion if they were gonna do this why didn't they do it before when the hype was at its highest but now it even does really kill your profit margin so it's an alpha supreme saw so another restock for logan paul and ksi's drink it's the funny part not many people knew about this and not many people know that these bottles are reselling for literally 300 percent return of investment these cost two pound fifty a bottle I've been selling them for £9. KSI and Logan Paul's Prime Hydration Drink has been one of the most sought after things since Xboxes and PS5s. I mean, the only store in the UK to get these is Asda. And there's been rumours that Asda are even backdooring them to their own staff because as soon as they go up on shelf, <laughs> they get taken. It's a tough one. Asda can't really limit people to how much of they can buy of a drinks bottle. So people are just going there and clearing crates and they're reselling. I've seen two restocks in the last two weeks on their online Shopify site. And again, not many people knew about these. I mean, Kai Kicks Apprentice members did. Essentially, I run a group where I give you all the information about sneakers or random resales such as these Prime drinks. Basically, anything to make money. <laughs> Everything from resale prediction, what shoes are coming out, how to get these shoes, how to start botting, how to upgrade your manual setup, random resales such as Prime drinks, one-on-one -on -one support, video guides, one-on-one -on -one calls, you name it, we've got it in the group. Now last video we dropped a 20% code which is very very exclusive by the way. Let's one up it this time. 25% discount off if you use code PRIME. That is 25% off all of our three tiers if you want to join. It's some of our success from other members. We have over 200 people all cooking up, all making money. So if you want to go on our website and check out all the different features, see what tier suits you and claim your 25% off because we are not doing this discount again we top link down description below so do not miss out on that so i tried these yes i have what do they taste like i'm not a big fan i'll be very honest. tastes like really really sweet but i'm not gonna talk about too much they restocked again they sold out people are botting it people are making good money including myself and all of kai kicks members travis scott again rumored another sneaker this is the third sneaker he's rumored in <laughs> one week this is the travis scott jordan one low olive and a bit repetitive now travis i'm gonna be honest i don't want to burn out the jordan one lows considering we just received more information about the Jordan 4 Olive and more information about the Jordan 1 Travis Scott sale and the triple black Travis Scott Jordan 1 low. I'm very confused what is actually happening, Travis, because you've rumored all of these sneakers, but you haven't given us a release date for anything. Sort it out. It's a great looking sneaker. It's got the olive reverse tick in like the suede colorway and then it's white with like the black suede as well. Very mocha type style, but with the olive colors for the night tick. It, it's clean. It will resell. I can definitely expect resale prices to be above the around 700 to 800 pound mark because it's Travis Scott. Great looking sneaker and if you want to keep updated with all the sneak releases then you need to be in Kai Kicks Apprentice. We've seen photos of these Yeezy 700s, however they are laceless. We saw Pusha T wearing these sneakers, the white colorway. Do I think this will uh, change the hype for Yeezy 700s? 
for about one week until people realize there's no point and it still won't resell. So not much else to be said about them. Now, something I am very shocked about, Pata is collabing with New Balance. So if you don't know, Pata have a lot of Air Maxes that do very, very well and are very, very popular. But now they've moved over to New Balance and it's the Lost and Found sneakers. Now, these are New Balance 990s and I've never actually owned a pair of these. And there's a really annoying glare just come from my window. Now these are called keep your family close and I'm assuming it's to do with the whole family tree from what we can see on the box and so on. I'm not a big fan of New Balances but a lot of people are saying it's the new next big thing. However, me personally, I couldn't get into them. I couldn't really get into the 550s either. But the bigger thing that I'm annoyed about is, does this mean it's the end of the Air Max 1 patterns? Because they've already moved over to New Balance to do a shoe with them now. Hopefully it isn't, but it's definitely worth mentioning in the sneaker news. StockX have decided to rip everyone off again. StockX has basically said, F you, here's another $4 extra fee when you sell one sneaker. So starting from October, there's going to be a new singular fee for $4, which is for the shipping. Now in the UK, it used to be free, and now we're having to be charged money for shipment. Not only that, US are still now experiencing the same. They are getting a $4 extra fee. Claiming it's to cover the shipping, but guys, let's be honest, StockX have had a lot of controversy recently about selling fakes, fakes slipping through the cracks. This $4 is not going towards shipping. This $4 is going towards more staff that know actually what they're doing. So hopefully we'll see less scandals with StockX and hopefully they can relive their name. I mean, I'm not a big fan of the company, but I do understand this part of the sneaker market. It tells you how much a shoe is going for, but it also does introduce a lot of undercutters who ruin the prices of shoes. And for the class at sneaker news of this week, Gap are releasing their own slides. So if you don't know, Kanye has been in a lot of controversy recently, which led to him leaving Gap and also rumoured to leave Adidas as well, which is a massive move for him. Gap have now come out and released their own Gap slides, which I, I can't stop laughing at, man. Kanye was angry at Adidas because of the remaking his Yeezy slides that he made of the Adelettes. Fair enough, they look the exact same. But now Gap has come out after Kanye's leave Gap and they're releasing their own slides as well. It's just comical in my opinion. Anyway, if you want to learn to start sneaking, you selling yourself like the shoes behind me whether you're a beginner whether you're a pro whether you're looking to bot whether you're looking to manual kai kicks apprentice code prime for 25 percent off your first month now this will only be valid for a couple days so if you are watching be quick and head down to purchase before it is invalid hope you enjoyed this week's sneaker news apologies for the lack of uploads recently not only that sneakers has been a bit dry so i've struggled to think of content so if you have got any ideas of what content you want to see down below in the comments, please put it down. I think by the time this video is out, we should have hit 6k subscribers. So I do thank you everyone for that. Well, let's hit that 10k because that's what we're aiming for. Good luck in all your releases and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out guys.